two, one, power up! And at the start of Autonomous, looks like Robo Warriors heading straight towards the scale. They shoot over it, but they're going back for a chance with another cube. That one doesn't make it either, but their alliance partners, Milk and Knights, do take control of the red switch. Meanwhile, Blue has control of their own switch as well. And now, as the drivers take control, looks like Robo Warriors heading back for some of the cubes that they missed. Meanwhile, Robodox on Blue attempting to be the first to place a cube on the scale. Both alliances racing to get there. Robo Warriors gets the first advantage, but Blue soon placing two cubes to counter that. Scale is tilted in Blue's favor, but Robo Warriors hoping to quickly come back. Looks like Team Sprocket not moving around so much, but their alliance partners working hard to make up for that. Milk and Knights just flooding the opponent's switch with power cubes. Right now, the Blue does not have control of their switch, and Milk and Knights are hoping to keep it that way. The scale is in about neutral position. Score, uh, scores are relatively close. Red only leading by about 20. Now Robodox taking back possession of the scale for Blue. Looks like Robo Warriors coming back though, trying to launch that cube into place. We'll see if it stays. It does bring the scale back towards neutral. Meanwhile, Triton Tech has finally reclaimed the blue switch. And looks like now they're headed to the exchange, scoring cubes they can use for power-ups later on. Speaking of the exchange, Milka Knights have been filling that up for red. And Team Sprocket now coming back into the fray, adding a cube. That one falls off, but Red does have a slight advantage on the scale, although it's swinging back and forth. Robo Warriors places a cube. This one sticks. Vitruvian is quickly counting that for Blue, though. Blue drops that cube. And Red has the advantage on the scale for now. It looks like Blue Alliance has played a levitate power up. Meanwhile, with 40 seconds left to go in the match, the scores are neck and neck. Scale still back and forth. Red's advantage, though. And Red now playing a levitate power up of their own. Team Sprocket dropping a cube. They're trying to place on the scale. Red still has possession, though. Now, as we move into the endgame, looks like Robo Warriors on Red getting into position on the scale. Now, the blue robots, hung up a little bit, are moving back to their platform. But not before Vitruvian Boss places another cube on the scale, bringing it back to the neutral position. With just 10 seconds left, Robo Warriors are up in the air. Robo Docs on blue, looking to get there as well. Red has control of the scale for now in just the final few seconds. Each alliance has one robot up in the air, and that is the match. And the scores are in. It's Red Alliance winning with a score of 321 to 246. Each alliance did also get an auto quest ranking point. Now let's take it over to RSN for a look at that exciting match. Red Alliance coming away with the win there. Not able to capitalize on that for RP though, Steve. Well, we saw from the Red Alliance a couple of things that I've been hoping to see all weekend. We're going to go to the instant replay here, show you a little bit of Autonomous and just out of Autonomous. 2659 taking the opportunity here to really show off the, the lack of uh, deja vu being played over the speakers, really sort of drifting their way out. But right after Autonomous, they do an excellent job of showcasing what a shooter robot can do with a balanced scale or a scale tip toward themselves. Just getting the first couple cubes up there, which gave Red the opportunity to take the scale later in the match. Even though they don't own the scale early in the match, these early cubes are critical to being able to get it at some point. Um, they're showing that they have more ability than I thought that they had to shoot up there and control the game a little bit more in the middle of the field. You're correct, Steve. Really difficult to do when you don't have uh, true elevator bots on, on your alliance. They were working with two shooter bots and uh, dedicated switch exchange